G'day guys, my name's Josh, you can call me Zawoodle and welcome back to 7 Days where I am away from home, sheltering in place in the No Repair Challenge. It has been a rough couple of days but I'm still alive and kicking for the moment. But I'm gonna head out nice and bright and nice and early because there's lots to do down in this pine forest town before I head back home again. So I gotta get cracking immediately. I really got to make sure I keep reminding myself and stay focused on the one task that's actually important and the whole reason that I'm out here at the moment. I need to find, is that looted yet? It is, never mind. I need to find the last couple of wiring books that I need to make myself... I'm here, uh, that's right, I'm here for the vending machine, to make myself the wire relays, the power lines, to, oh my goodness, to actually run my horde base. I've got lots of traps and things I want to do. Old mate's just out and about for a midnight stroll. Don't mind me. He is up at the crack of dawn like I am. But I need to make the power lines no sugar butts to make the traps actually spin in my horde base. If I don't have that, I'm in for a bit of a pickle come next horde night. I'm just waiting for the sun to rise because I don't know when the vending machines actually restock. It might be at four in the morning, so I'm just going to hang out and see how that goes. But I did make the plan last night that I wanted to hit the vendos, go get the drop down to the south, hit Trader Joel to see if he has any of the books I need or a solar cell, and then head back home. But that was overlooking. G'day, sunshine. Oh, look how gorgeous that is. This game is annoyingly pretty sometimes, I swear. It's a zombie apocalypse. It's supposed to be bad and ominous, and instead you're throwing god rays at me all the time. Did you restock? You did not. Must have been at midnight. All right, cool. But yeah, my plan last night was overlooking that there was the remnants of a robotics factory somewhere in this town that I completely forgot about. So, need to make sure I get that too. That part is critical. I think it was that one there, actually. I'll give you a cheeky little marker and do a U-banger. Round we go. There's a deer right there. It is actually a doe a deer, a female deer. But I need to stay on the roads. My bike took... It was 95% health when I left yesterday morning, I think. I've come home with 36. So I lost two-thirds of my motorcycle health in one day. Absolutely disgusting form for me. So I need to stay on the roads where it's relatively safe, relatively smooth, and no random blocks of iron to run into. That's the joint. That's the joint just there. Don't go into the underpass, please. Can I just pull up in the car park where I'm supposed to? Park like a human being. Try and maintain some sort of civility. There you go. Right between the lines. We're not driving a BMW after all. There you go. Bloody perfect. That's a Shamway next door. There's also that one just across the way as well, which looks like... Actually looks like Trader Jen's compound without the Jen. But it looks like that might be another robotics place. That could be worth a squeeze. I think that's a paper mill over there. All right, well, time's ticking away. Let's get up. Let's get out of it. Let's get in there. I gotta try and just be a little bit braver about it because I... Oh, there's one right there because I don't really have any stealth skills anymore. And I'm running out of steel crossbow bolts like you wouldn't believe. Put down both of you. Anyone? Any annies? Oh, yep. No one in the cabinet this time. That's fine. Just double checking. Just be nice and calm and collected. Smooth is fast and fast is slow. <laughs> Whatever that, ah! Whatever that's supposed to be. Oh my goodness, I'm so on edge. I don't like this. There's a couple of lab coat leases. Don't mind me. Just going to grab ooh, some lockpicks while I'm waiting for you to come join me. Punch and punch. Ooh, tumble loot drop. That's a little bit tingly. What a start to the day. I'll scrap you for the lead. I'll grab... Did I just say I did see the flash of thunder? I wondered why I started parkrun and gobbling seat cushions, but nah, it's all right. It's not horde. It's okay. Grab you. That opened both of the doors. That's a business boy. Stand up and sit back down again. Take a little kip on your couch while I break into your safe. He's also got a filing cabinet just next to it, but the wall safe is ready to go. Fire seal knuckle parts, thank you very much. And, ooh, another fist crafting book, thank you. I never actually did the math. I'm about to go and sell a bunch of machete parts, but I never did the math to see if selling machetes is a more viable option. It will take a lot of steel to make a bunch of tier 5 machetes, and I can only sell three of them. But actually, three of them, it should be about $1,000 each, that's three grand. I think the stack of machete parts was only going to net me... Like 1,200 or so. So that might actually be worthwhile. It will take steel and a bit of hard yakka, but eventually I'll get the crucible. That'll be significantly easier. Oh, look at that. Look at that on you coming here. It was a good idea. Three wiring books. Nom, nom, nom. 
Thank you. Two more gets me the power lines. Like I'm singing in the Goofy movie. No, nothing in you. Check the other untouched cabinet as well. No, thank you. Uh, where am I going to go? I want, don't want to keep going up just yet. I want to keep on clearing the joint. Every last box in here is valuable to me. I saw you. I saw you. You're... Oh, you are a feral. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Run away and... No! The door's locked open. Why? Why do you have to lock open the doors? How does it even work? There's a little, like, latchy boy there. Just flip it over. I hate the doors get locked open like that. It's about as wet and miserable as it can possibly get out here at the moment. Chuck a Louie and... Yeah, that's fine. Close the door away for them to come to me. No one sneak up the back way. Bonk. Lovely. And extra bonk. Oh, it's good. I mean, for the regular zombies, the knuckles feel really good. But as soon as there's a feral that I just can't seem to stagger, I'm in a bit of trouble. I'm up a well-known creep without even a stick for a paddle. So I really need to get those fisty books at some point soon. Cheeky medical supplies. Medical journal. I don't know what I get at level 50, but I'm excited for it. Any other boxes? Mm, oh, yes. Give me you. Give me that goodness. Electrical traps and... <gasps> Yes! It worked! It worked! My, my not-so-brilliant plan worked. I can now make electric wire relays. We have the power lines. We have a hope for Horde Knight. Fuck yeah! Rating always works. There's going to be a couple up the top. That's fine. We've got to pop up. That was a big lag spike. Pop the floor so I don't accidentally fall down it later. Almost put you down the floor. Jeez, I just can't get... A nice clean shot. I'm too busy shanking earlobes instead. Missed it. Better. Was that all that was up here? I bloody hope so. But there should be some nice juicy loot. What are you going to give me? So there's no more power boxes up here? Wow, that's a stitch up. I thank God I already found the books that I desperately needed. Because if I did all that and didn't find one power book at the top, I'd been pretty upset in spaghetti. Take both of those. Make a claw hammer. Sick as dicks. Okay, we got a salvage tool as well. I can make a nail gun. Normally, that'd get me all sorts of fizzy. I can make first aid kits, but a tier one nail gun is wicked for any other series but this one. Ooh. And that was the last automatic weapons book. I can, ooh, each kill boosts your run speed by 20% for 20 seconds. I had no idea that's what those books did now. So hip fire has greatly increased. I have no idea what that last book I got was, but... Full automatic mode, it has an increased chance to ragdoll. Automatic fire is more accurate than fire. Drum magazine, sure. 20% less deg. Full automatic, 1% more, more damage per hit. And 10% more damage in total. So that, that's a slapper. I mean, speaking of slappers, I wish I had more books for slapping. But, unfortunately, not to be. Ah oh well, ah oh well, can't win them all, but still a win all the same. I forgot about the extra box downstairs in the office. I at least have one more power box for... Electrical trap crafting. Thank you. 29 now. I think I get something new and spicy at level 30. Another box. More wiring. Thank you. Scrap you for the lead as well. And we should be good and golden. Mm, scrap you. Take that. I can make iron nux instead. And I think that's going to just about do us. All right. Let's get out of here. We'll go and check out that other... Damn it. The other places across the street. And then what? It's almost 8 a.m. That's exceptionally good speedy rating by me. Let's take this nice and slow. You don't want to bin it and break your bike any more than you already have. <laughs> Prime parking, though. Don't even need the rollerblades to get to work on a member of the Stonecutters. Boop. Perfect. Are you working? You are not, so you're made of steel. And I'm desperate for that now to make the machetes. So as long as I don't sell the machete parts to Trader Joel right now, I should be sweet. And how many... Is it like 10... 10 per shetty? It... Holy shit. <laughs> Holy shit. 50 steel per machete for $1,000? I mean, look, I'm lazy as shit. I'm not sure I can be bothered doing that. That's so much steel. I haven't been through this place before, but I... I mean, I like the lighting of it already. I want to go nice and fast to get to trade you early. Ooh, down into the sewers. Can't go that way. Gotta go this way. Look, we're going on a bear hunt. Oh, it's... It's just this? Okay. I really thought this was going to lead me into, like, the pub block... The pub building right next door. But, nah, I guess not. Can I get back up again? Up we go. I do love that it throws, like, a nice sphere... Uh, spherical? A nice circle of lights, not 3D, down the bottom with a light through the hatch. 
So if you're not doing anything, how do I get into you? Ooh, working stiff box. And what are you going to give me? Oh, I see. There was a an actual proper entrance around the other side. We're all good and gravy, though. Any free DDs for the Woodle? I'd love some companionship. No, nope, more wiring, though. Read you, read you. Take you to sell. That's level 30, actually, on the traps. Didn't unlock anything, though. Cheeky grill. Actually, I'll take you. I don't have a grill on my campfire at my home away from home out here. But I've got a fuckload of steak that I can't grill, so may as well whack it in and just leave a bunch of meat here for later, mate. The only thing I'm really concerned about is it's spawning a thousand zombie dogs at me, so I'm going to roll with the AK out and try and wake everybody up. Stealth be damned. I think it's just a couple of regulars. We're fine. You can get bonked, and you can get bonked. Oh, mate, didn't take the hit. <laughs> I freaking love the ragdoll in this game so much. Nothing makes me smile more than zombies ragdolling out of nowhere. You are a feral, though. Get your stun, get your sat, and find whoever else is gurgling at me around here. Just just you there, Cobber. Get a champion. I'll get to you in a second. I can either go into the big building or go downstairs. I think I'll go down first. This did definitely... Yeah, there definitely used to be a trader that lived in this compound. I don't remember which one it was, but it... Oh, it definitely was a thing for a little bit then. That sounds like a speed. Yep, yeah, all right. Oh, that's a feral though. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Run back upstairs and close the door. Damn it, missed it. Missed it. Put your knuckles through the gap, please, and actually do some damage. You pelican. You utter flappy fuck. What the shit was that nonsense? Get you gone. Get your... Oh, spider. Get your range sorted out. There we go. Oh, that's a lot of ferals. Oh, that's a lot of ferals. Wrecked that guy's face, though. His mush is now very much more mushier. Die. Shit. Fuck. God damn it. Just get in front of me and caught me knuckles of death. Why are you so insistent on all this? Go away. Oh, my God. And as if that wasn't bad enough, there's now a wandering horde coming through as well. I mean, it's good for bulk XP gathering, but not what I had in mind for today. Took your knee off. Oh, that hurt a little bit, you prick. Oh, mate. I have turned you into several different pieces like a crocodile's cup and bit your guts out. Quickly stuff on the first aid. Bando, bonds are mate, level up as well. G'day, hot stuff. How are you? See you later. Thanks for coming. I'm going to put that skill point into better barter. I don't usually like specking into intellect, but if I do want to buy a solar cell at some point, every last dollar we do, I can shave off the top. Is going to help me. Grab you. Also, grab a cheeky snack. I finished the books, but ready for the XP. I'll eat you. I'll take the murky waters. Anything cheeky around the back at all? Not especially. Yeah. It's half past ten. Just don't get distracted, Josh. There's still lots to do today. And you got to get back home before nightfall. I can hear a lot of zombies upstairs, but there's still a lot of zombies. Oh, there's more coming as well. A lot of zombies downstairs. Fix up you. Oh, the range isn't that good. That's another feral. Just bring him straight to me. Just punch and move. Shoot and scoot. Oh, oh God, I didn't hit. I pressed the button and my knuckles didn't go flying. Shit, I'm getting battered. Oh, okay. See you later then. I'm getting battered all over the shop. I was definitely doing better with the hunting knife. I missed those days. So, so many zombies upstairs. I'll come down here eventually. Keep on pushing though. Concrete, come with me. Super buddy valuable. I need all of you. There was just a mo power box at the very end. Quickly grab you for a DD. Unlucky. Grab you. Tag you as well. 31 and 30. So they've caught up to each other, which is bloody good. Robotic turret shells. Not real. I don't think I've ever actually used the shotgun mode of Terry the Turret to any decent effect. Every time I've tried it, it's been a bit of a letdown. So not sure I'll do it this time either. Am I missing anything? Ooh. Ooh. Okay, I haven't been through there before. Is there still a hidden stash up here? That's just where that was. What about in here? Mm, no. Okay, no more hidden stashes. That's all good. I'll grab these stones and keep on pushing. Just please don't be a secret bear in here somewhere. That little cave was just a dead end, so not much to grab out of you. G'day, bud. Goodbye, bud. Can I get into you? Where's... I mean, that's the thing. I would have thought going through the ca uh, cave system would have brought me out to here, but I... Shit. I guess not. Can I just, like, get a bit of a foothold, please, on anywhere that I can actually take a pot shot? Oh, I'm going to have to do it on the, on the bounce. Nailed it. Can I also get you two, please? Like that. Okay. Well, how do I get inside to get my arrows back again? There... It how? What did I miss? How did I miss that? Oh, I missed it because I'm... Oh, 
Jesus Christ. I'm the shortest netted giraffe on the Sahara. How the shit did I miss the giant gaping stairwell that I went underneath to go and grab that concrete and just never went up it? Silly. Bloody silly by me, but no one should be surprised by that. Can I pretty please have my bolts back? No and no. Good God, those guys are swallowing me bolts like there's no tomorrow. This is the main loot room and... Oh! Oh, you tried to block me off, you clever boy. But oh, I'm a bit cucumbered, actually. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Your knees. You used him as this nice, squishy landing like he's a mattress. I feel a bit bad for you there, champion. Like, I know you wanted to was get on you a bit like that, but that's a little bit excessive. Blew your mind either way. It's a bit of a bit of a long height to do the drop from. Right. Anyone else? Any decent loot? Savage country. There's a way out to the roof as well. Any books? Thank you, assault rifles. Now level 30. If I could make a decent tacky boy, I might get a bit excited about it. Just the main loot left over in the leather trunk for Archer Book I've already got, some iron knuckles. I can't actually take all of that out of there because I'm two chockers. You can piss off. I'll grab the rest of you. Uh, that can get scrapped for the stone and I'll take the book. All right, I'm now completely chocker block. I need to go put some stuff in the bike and get over to see Joel. A good couple of raids this morning, though. Wasn't on the shit. Wasn't on the spec sheet, but damn it. Got it done anyway. Gone, and I don't think gone. Definitely gone now. All right. Yeah, just against regular zombies and only regular zombies, the knuckle's still all right. With all that happily done and my electric uh, wire schematic now found, I can chuck a... Oh, do I want to go through there? Probably not. Stay to the roads, please. Josh, stop taking gambles. You don't need to. Now that I have my power lines sorted out, I can go and chuck some shit back into boxes, grab all my sellables, and go hit up Jolly Boys right there. This could be an exceptionally good day. It's already off to a flyer, and there's several ways we can get even better again. So I think the chances are... All right, bye. I think the chances are actually pretty good. I'll take what I can. You can hold on to that, though. Let's get up, drop it all off, and get all the sellables. Get ready to crack on. See, I knew it was a good idea bringing that grill home. I've now got a beaker, a cooking grill, and a cooking pot all in my little campfire away from home. So you can cook up all that for me. You are my regular stuff. You go into them. Free up. Okay, one more. One more. Free up that last little stacky boy there. There you go. And chuck in... Sure, that one. Sellable. Sell you. Sell you. I'll keep you with me because I'm now completely out of steel crossbow bolts. That sucks. And the rest of that can all come home. Yeah, now good. Just making sure I'm all nice and fed. I turned a bunch of coffee beans into coffees for me overnight because I just found them around the place. And turns out the person who told me, I forgot who it was, I'm very sorry. Whoever told me to bring a cooking pot with me for all these adventures is an absolute genius. What a move that was for me and all of my stats. You are now good to go. I'll grab all of that. I'll grab all of that. Nothing in you. Nothing in you. All right, let's go see Joel. He have that vending machine first, though. There's an extra sugar butts over there. Sell some stuff, buy some stuff, and get back to Jen. Get back to where we belong. You are joking. Neither of those vending machines I checked had any more sugar butts. They're bloody hard to find at the best of times. I tell you what. Uh, what don't I want to sell? Even though you're super expensive on steel, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the experiment. I'll make at least one and see how valuable you actually are. I am currently wearing the right goggles, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I am. I might as well keep the blue ones because, you know, a little bit of color in your life is always good. Anything else I don't want to sell in here before I get rid of everything? Uh, I'll keep you guys down here for the moment so I don't get confused. I think that's about all. Yeah, I think it is. Yeah, I think it is. All right, well... In that case then, Jolly Boy, what do you actually have to sell you? me? Have a quick little chin wag. What? Oh. <laughs> The Woodle Purple Facial Piercings. That's getting very excessive though. I mean, if I need cheap purple dyes, which I kind of do, I may as well buy both of those and take the dyes out of them. Always want more purple in my life. What about the books though? It's always about the books. Got an armor book. Got three assault rifle books. You've got a batting book that I've already finished the series. Oh, I've already read that book actually. I'll take it back. You've got a bunch of steel, which might actually be pretty cheap to buy when I've got everything rolling for me. Gunpowder stuff, normal stuff, pipe bombs, molotovs, nothing really standing out to me. Got a tier 5 AK for 10 grand. Cheers, but nah. Another tier 3 tacky boy. I just get excited whenever I see him. But solar bank, robotics parts, nails, cements. No solar cell. No solar cell. Definitely none. And definitely none of the books that I need either. That is a pretty flat out disappointment. 
But I am selling a bunch of stuff, so we'll pop the awesome sauce. In that case, may as well pop the cheesecake anyway. That's like the least rare of what I've got right now. That's less rare than the freaking sugar butts is. You can go to them. All right, make sure I've got the right gun out. You're getting saved for later. I'm going to put you in first. You last the longest. And then the awesome sauce. And then the cheesecake after I'm buying stuff. All right, let's make some money. How you doing, Cobber? Let's do some deals. I sold it all. I made 20, oh, sorry, I made 14 grand. I got a bit excited and immediately bought the purple stuff as well, which I probably shouldn't have. Quick a change over for you. you Grab back. myself the cheesecake and then buy probably just like all the books, really. I'll buy the Armored Up book. I'll buy all the Tactical Warfare books. All three of them. Thank you. That's all the stuff I just sold. Just so I don't need any of you. That was it. Those were all the books you had that I needed to read. So then it's just a case of buying the normal stuff. I've already got enough advanced muffle connectors mods, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure, not 100% sure. If I buy all of the forged steel for four grand, I mean, it's 48 though. It's, it's pretty good and I'm never going to get a better chance to buy it, so may as well. I'm now almost back down to 20 grand again. Don't need water filters. I don't need most of this. Take the gunpowder, all of the players, take the bullet casings. Mm, petrol, no. Water, no. Mushrooms, yeah, probably guess. They're basically dirt cheap anyway. Anything else good? Anything else exciting? There wasn't anything before when I was looking through. You prick. I mean, I can just make you now, but... Mm, what does it take to make you? Relay. Uh, let's go wire relay. Three forged iron? Yeah, right. I'll just buy him. I'll just buy him for 400 bucks. It's worth it for the iron alone. We've done all we needed to do. Cheers for that. I'm going to change back over to my regular pistol. It is suppressed and purple and therefore better in every way. Speaking of though, so you replaced my bandana. What do you look like? Can I get you out of the way too, please? And you? Oh, there you go. Look at that. Very punk rock. You got spikes and spaces all over the shop. And you got your lip pierced. Not really my style, but you know what? That's right. At least we tried. I'm more interested in the purple dime and the purple dime. Thank you. Scrap you. Scrap you for one bit of iron. All right. Cheers for that. Actually, can I... While I've got all this going, oh, do you want to buy this back again? It's significantly less valuable, but there you go. And there you go. Thank you. So all that's left now is just to go and grab the drop that was a long, long way away down to the south. Get going, please. In fact, we're, we're actually we're all the way down there. Please be near a road. Then get all my stuff out of my temporary house and head back to Jen. And that will be a pretty damn successful day. It's half past four. Time has gone a flying, but I tell you what, the progress we've made today alone, absolutely schmicko. It's a little bit further out than the roads go, but that's okay. As long as I try and pay at least some attention to where I'm driving and to stare directly at the deck, I'll hopefully get out there without too much more damage. Oh, there's the, there's the winter biome right there. There's the winter biome right there. I can just go and dig up a whole bunch of snowballs, get a lifetime supply of snowballs right here, right now. I'll never have to worry about breaking down those stupid ice machines ever again. Bonk. Gone. What's in the supply crate? Some books. Ooh, a forge ahead book. Thank you. And some snacks. Gone. Go ahead. Treat yourself. Why not whack it in your gob and swallow it down? What have you brought me? Open you. Some wiring books. Thank you. Some harvesting tool books. I can have a quality three steel tools, thank you. And a better ratchet, I hope. No, no better ratchet. Oh my God, that's so much tier six stuff. I'll keep all that because at least I can sell you and your absolutely pristine condition. That's actually a good get. I'm happy with that. This is a little bit risky, but I need that snow. Just pull up right about there. Keep your eyes and ears and various appendages peeled for, oh, there's the wasteland too? Holy shit. Holy shit, this is a good place to be. Right, I'm here for you, though. Grab myself some snowballs. Take it all home with me. Do I go and have a little sticky beak around in the wasteland? I've got a little bit of time before the sun sets. It's a bold move, Cotton. I'm not sure it's going to pay off. I mean, I should. I should. I'm about to head back in the opposite direction. And even just a couple of cars in the wasteland might give me a better AK or better steel tools. Who knows what bandable harvest is waiting for me? I just got to be brave. I'm going to ride along just inside the snow barracks. It's way easier to see any snags or whatnot in the white stuff rather than... Oh, there's a copper right there. Rather than in the shrubs. Uh, how are we looking? Is there any, like, easy-peasy cars to get to? There's a Nance just hanging out. There's a car over there. Right, I'm not going to... I'm absolutely not going to take my bike through here. This is just a death trap waiting for it. I just want to check you. I just want to check the back of the ute for any decent tools you might have. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. I don't think I need to worry too much about landmines. Come on. 
Give us the sausage. Give us something lovely from all my hard work. That's, 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 no, that's not that's dog water. Give me something else. There's a bear up the hill from me, but it's all right. It hasn't seen me. It's a long way away. And apparently when they get zombified, their sense of smell goes out the window. Any other cars? Oh, some more zombies over there. I mean, I'm barely brave in a regular bar. I'm going to the waste there was probably a bit of a bridge too far. Oh God, go faster, go faster, go faster. Nothing in ya. I think you're just a regular. So let's not alert everyone to my presence by firing the AK. You're gone. And that's a car I can't loot. There's another soccer mum car over on the hill over there, but I think I'm over saying welcome. I think I've done enough for now. I was brave. I was brave for a moment. I wasn't rewarded immediately. Therefore, I'm giving up. Like learning guitar. One more car. One more car. Why not? One more. Oh! Oh! That's probably why not, fucking doggos. Lured me in with the loot just to send some bad things my way. Quickly check the cars. Please, no more dogs. Oh, piss off, Boz. Damn it. Why is everything so awful out here? All right, I'm done. I'm done. I've had my fill. I tried my luck and it didn't pay off. And now it's starting to snow as well. I'm going to have to run through the wasteland because I'm wearing... I'm definitely not kitted out for the winter. I've got shorts and a tank top on. Barely enough material on me right now to clothe a freaking Barbie. You're gone. There's my bike right there. All right, let's get out of here. Let's go back home. I missed the snuggly warmth of my church house. No! Damn it! Gone back in the pine forest for four seconds and immediately... Ah, shut up, Zeus. Immediately clattered a freaking boulder. 27% health now on my motorcycle. I'm waggling about like a very excited fish. Calm your freaking tail slides down. Let's get back to the road. It's now 7 p.m. I definitely overstayed. Hit the gap. Nice. Lovely. Okay. Get your shit and get the dickens out of here. Oh, my God. We're well, starting on such a good day. It has gone south. I don't like it. I couldn't resist. I couldn't resist the loot. Plus, there's Bowser's here, which I need for the steel, which I need for my uh, machete plan. Could be break you down. I mean, look, I'm undercover. I'm trying to do the right thing. It's raining. It's pouring. Someone's old man is snoring. I just want to get dry and happy. <laughs> I mean, speaking of dry, there's an Arlene just over there getting about as damp as she normally is. Just stock standard four from you, Arlene. Anything in this car for me? No. I thought I didn't want the Vegemite Saga. Piss off, please. But there was an ATM to unlock. And more importantly, any more workstation books? Damn it. Check the car parts box. Please give me some workstation books. You dickbag. No, another salvage book, though. I would like a better wrench if that's ever on the cards. No doggos out the back. Just some petrol, please. This has been a very, very quick raid, but it hasn't really paid off at all. Check the dumps too. Why not? Not much. Can I get up and then up and then up? No one on the roof for me either. All right, we're fine. We're fine. Grab you nice and quickly. I'm going to be arriving back home in the middle of the night, but so be it. Ooh, 29 more books till a gyrocopter two. Then I can finally go check out the house on the hill. All right, I think I've done the best job I can of figuring out what I'm going to take, what I'm not going to take. So I'm going to get all of you. In fact, I did see a couple of pieces of paper in there that are completely worthless. Uh, don't need you. Don't need you. I'll take the wood. All of this looks like it's going to come home with me, I think. But can I, real quick, I'll chuck you into there. There we go. Free up extra spot onto that one. I can probably turn those glues into more duct tapes. I can. Nice. Good. The rest of that can get stacked into the motorcycle. I've got to go. I've got to go soon. I don't want to be riding out there at night, ducking and dodging and diving and weaving to avoid trees, pebbles, and zombies. That's just going to end up with my motorcycle getting broken in the middle of nowhere. I think this is the last load. Just double check. I've got everything I need. Stack whatever I can. I've got the treasure map. I've got a good battery. Got my suit jacket as well. Uh, yeah, and my super con. All right. We're good. We're golden. Time to head all the way back home. Dad, look at that. The rains have cleared. I can see clearly. And what I see clearly is a gorgeous sunset. God damn it, game. Stop. Stop distracting me with your beauty. Who are you? Trader Jen? Get out of here. All right. Super important, Josh. Do not lose focus. Put your nose towards home and look for anything that's going to break your bike. I don't have enough health to even look at my health right now. If I hit anything, I'm in a whole lot of trouble. 
There is the night time. That's just garbage. That's fine. Don't know what's a shrub and what's a tree. I'm going over a crest at full speed. Not smart. I'm doing it anyway. Ah, boulder. No, we're fine. Fine, we're good. I feel like it's been so long since I was here, but I'm finally back. I'm not going to look at it yet, though. I'm finally back in the shadow of my church. All the way around we go. Get on the brakes and park up right out the front. Okay. All right. Well, the trees, look at that. Look how good that looks. The trees are much bigger than when I first left off. I'll grab what I can out of you. Get all this stuff inside. And actually, I'll read you straight away. Cheers, Jenny girl. There's a treasure map out there. There's some sort of goodies. Like it's a freaking chastity belt that I have to go and find. Ugh, I just came from that way, Jen. I just came from that way. I don't want to go back into the boons. I didn't realize the reach on the oak trees would be so bloody fast. They're clipping through my base. Unacceptable. Gonna have to go dig them all up. Well, I have to break them down for, uh, for the wood anyway. Uh, cut them all down and replace them with some pine trees instead. You're all sellable. Not that. You can all go into them. Oh, I've got the gold diamond ring ready for Jen. Tomorrow might be the day. I mean, I've got my suit. If I suit myself up, where is it actually over here? Suit myself up and go and get my knees dirty for Jenny girl. Who knows? We might get real lucky. Before I wrap this up though, there is one thing I do need to do. Quickly grab my farming knife and my brand new, oh Jesus, it's hard to see that here. My brand new super corn seeds. Up you get. All right, yeah, look, these trees. These trees are gonna go. I'll, I'll replant them, it'll be fine, but they're just taking up too much of the atmosphere up here. That can all go, give me you. I quickly whack down my brand new supercon. Boom, 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 boom. I want you in my room. Happy freaking days. I'll harvest the rest of the hops anyway. I need it for froffies. Everyone needs a froffy. But with that, guys, I'm gonna have to leave this episode here. Overnight, I'll go mine some more stone and stuff. I'll cut down all those trees because they're just in the way. And then tomorrow, go and see Jen. She's got a solar cell for me. See what she's got for me. Might have quickly do that tier four clear first thing in the morning as well. So she's really in a good mood. Where I decide that tomorrow is the day that the big thing happens. Well, I'll have to come back and try and pucker up the courage to do that in the next episode because this episode is done. So thank you guys for watching. Most of all, thank you to the patrons of Patreon who made this episode possible. If you liked, make sure you hit the like button down below, subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter. If I don't talk to you there first, I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.